Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the creating the diorama base for the 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome. And the glue has dried, the foam board pieces are secure. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to, I think I'm going to take a toothpick and just kind of um, follow these lines, try to make a a better uh, uh, expansion joints is what we're trying to simulate there between our different concrete pores. So, yep, we're recording. So I'm going to just kind of go ahead and do one of those around each of them. There we go. That one's got a big old expansion joint. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Just kind of, what I'm doing is squishing down the edges to make a finer, or a better, uh -huh. Trying to make them come in like this a little bit, so when I tape it off, it looks like, you know, how they kind of trowel it out after they pour concrete. And we'll do, not move the whole scene here. Like that. That turned out better than I thought it would. Yeah. We'll go with that. And then I'll take the, um... Painter's tape that isn't so sticky. Get a piece, and what we're gonna do is glue or er, do the ballast on the road. And I think I'm gonna go to this side and do the garage floor. And I'll kind of do it um, in sections like that. And I'll try to get this taped off at our expansion joint. Don't want it. Do a little better than that. And I'll run the run that over that again to try to get get the tape in the crack a little better. Oh, I better hold it so I don't like that. We'll fold that down so it don't go nowhere. Put that down. And that should be good for the road. Now we'll do the same thing for the garage floor. Started, started moving it like that and then we'll run the toothpick across it again to make sure we're only getting the parts we want to get and I'm going full strength with the glue this time that seemed to work great for the road and hopefully doing it in smaller sections is going to help but we'll start with the street. Side there, and I'm gonna take a brush. Make sure nothing's on it. I'll just paint that glue down. Nice layer. I have a really 
probably be a layer, I think. I really want this to stick well. More on that side than this side. We'll brush it flat. There, we'll let that set for a second. Let it level out, I should say. Put you there, don't roll off because I don't want glue everywhere. See, there's a little spot here that could be better. There we go. We want it to be laid down flat. Yeah, I think that will do. Excellent. And I still have a little bit in this cup from the last time I experimented with the ballast. And actually, let's take that toothpick again. And go through that crack because I don't want to really close that up. Because I kind of put a lot of glue on that. Like that. That will work. Yeah, I think we're good to go now. So let's go ahead and start shaking this stuff on. I'm going to stand up so I can see better. And we are going to make a mess of things. And what I'll do is I'll let this actually dry before I... Try to wipe off any of it. That's a pretty good coat right there. I don't think I see any glue. That's good for that one. I'll let the uh, that dry out. And now we're going to work on this side. And this will hopefully enable this to go quicker. Like that. Might need a little more glue. This is a pretty big, pretty big uh, area here. You'll have to excuse me, I'm tired tonight. It's kind of late. Oh, that might be good. Go ahead and fill that. And I missed a spot. One nice thing about this bright light, you can kind of see really well. I guess I don't need to get worry about getting too um, 
too much of the ballast on the... I'm going to completely fill it, but this is where the garage is going to sit. And I think I mentioned it, but I started... Last night I started designing the... I decided I'm going to 3D print the garage. I don't know if I mentioned that. Gonna 3D print the garage. And I thought it'd be really cool. I'm gonna get some LEDs. Once the garage is in place, I'm actually gonna do a roll-up garage door, I think. And uh so that way I can have the garage door up or down, but then I thought it'd be cool sitting on my shelf in the evening when it's darker to have LED lights in the garage so that you can um, see the lights are on in the garage. Plus I got on my garage the on each side of the door, there's a, a, uh, exterior light. So I'm going to 3d print those with some, uh, PETG clear, and then I'll paint them where they need to be painted and stick little LEDs in that too. I thought that'd be kind of cool. But it looks like that looks flat like it's flattened down pretty good give it one last look here boy nice and glossy and make sure I get the right ballast this time but yeah where I was going with that I uh, got the the entire front of the garage with the door opening is already designed in Blender. I just need to do the siding and stuff detail. I'm just gonna... It's a little bit more of a tan than my actual concrete is, but I think I'm gonna like it better than the what it was. It can't look any worse than it did, I don't think. Can it? This is more of like for dirt, I think, than anything, but I did get the right one, right? Yeah, I did. If nothing else, I got... Well, I... It's gonna be me pretending I got a 57 Cadillac in my in my driveway so I decided to rip out my concrete and do that fancy stamp concrete or whatever that fancy fancy colored concrete we'll just let's go with that so I will let all this dry overnight and uh, tomorrow we'll pull the tape off both sides and hopefully um, hopefully I have better results than what we did. Might have lost this expansion joint a little bit because I, uh, didn't think about it and I forgot to take the toothpick and that's what happens when I try to explain stuff as I'm working. I should have taken the toothpick and got the glue out of that crack, but not a big deal. With the tape line, it'll still, you'll still see it. Anyway, you'll know that it's the diff two different pads, so and the garage is going to be there. No big deal. Just have to remember it for the the next three. But tomorrow we'll pull the tape off, get all this access off here, and then be doing these two. I think I'll go ahead and do these two sections, and then this section, and then we'll just have to wait for the one to dry. Then I'm getting for uh. Excited to check out the static grass machine thing that I got, so that'll be interesting. I think I'll experiment with the P40's diorama. Try to get some uh, experience on it before doing it onto this one. But anyways, I'm rambling again, and it's time for bed. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.